This is the second in a series of short videos designed to help medical students and non-specialist doctors take a history and examine patients with eye diseases. This is about how to take a history from patients with an eye problem. And in a similar way to the way we've all been trained, the history starts with a presenting complaint. Patients will complain of one of three different problems with their eyes. It may be a disturbance of the vision, but it's important to remember that the eye is a very sensitive organ of touch as well. And so eye pain and discomfort are, is a frequent complaint of patients with eye diseases, as is altered appearance or self-consciousness. Acknowledging that the eye is one of the most important organs of communication with others. We then go on to the history of the presenting complaint. And in the traditional way in which we've all been trained, the history of the presenting complaint should contain details of how the complaint has changed over time. Whether it is episodic in nature, whether there are any exacerbating or relieving factors, and whether there are any associated features with the complaint. We should then move on to the social history, bringing that to the fore, because many patients with eye diseases do not have life-threatening disease, but all of them have lifestyle-threatening diseases. So you should take into account their hobbies, their employment, and whether they drive a car. We then move on to the past ocular history before we take the past medical history. Details of the past ocular history should include whether the patient has had to wear strong spectacles in the past, whether they have received any medical or surgical intervention for eye diseases, or whether they have been born with eye disease. We can then return to the traditional structure of the history by taking the past medical history before moving on to the family medical history, I think it's important to state the family ocular history. And once again, you should talk about the need for strong spectacles in any family members, whether any family members have been born with eye diseases, and whether any family members have needed medical intervention in young or middle age for conditions such as glaucoma, or retinal disease. We can then return once more to the traditional structured history taking, which includes the family medical history, drugs and allergies, and finally a review of the systems. In summary then, you should take a history of the presenting complaint, remembering to distinguish uh, visual problems from problems of discomfort or appearance. The social history should be given extra weight in an eye history and you should include both the past ocular history and the family ocular history before taking the past medical history and family medical history. In the next video we're going to learn how to accurately take a visual acuity from your patient and communicate it to other medical professionals.